Three heads! Very nice. So I was rummaging around in the shed earlier, sorting things out, and I found this. I was just sitting on this chair. Didn't even know I had it. Yeah. The old shed's starting to look a lot clearer now. As you can see. It's a Technics Stereo Cassettic RX RS BX701. It's got lots of stuff that nobody knows what it is, such as ATC, Linear Magnafield Class AA, whatever the flip that means. Anyway, I'm going to let this settle because I've just taken it out of the shed. So bringing it from a really cold place into a really warm place, it's gonna get all wet inside, so I just want to make sure that's all gone before I plug it in. Three heads. Very nice. Dolby B and C. So if you're not satisfied with B, you got C. Bias adjust. Vacuum fluorescent display, or at least I assume that's vacuum fluorescent. A monitor button, so you can monitor what's on the tape as you're recording it. Very useful. Well, while we're waiting for this thing to dry out, I thought we'd take a look inside and, well, there's almost nothing in it. This is the entire circuit board. Only covers this side of the tape deck. I want to make sure the belts are still good. Very nice looking tape transports, I must say. I might even be able to get this open without powering it up by spinning these wheels here, so... Let's see if we can do that. Okay, it's not going to go any further that way. It would help if I was actually filming. Pointing the camera at where I'm actually... The area of interest. Now I can see inside the tape deck. I need a little bit of a cleaning, but that looks all right. Well, I'm going to let this thing settle, then I'm going to plug it in. And hopefully nothing's going to explode. I might even replace the denim, which has definitely seen better days. Okay, we have signs of life. Let's see if the thing will open. So far, so good. Okay, I'm going to... Grab a tape, put that in there. I haven't got any amplifier or anything connected to it at the moment. Let's so just to see if the tape will go round. Try fast forward. It's working. Rewind. Good. Play. Let's see if anything comes up on the meters. Alright. That's looking good. I'm going to clean the heads, but was just making sure that everything is doing what it should be doing. Going to give it a full run forwards and backwards, just to blow all the cobwebs out. And I'll be back when... It's about to take off! Like I said, I'll be back when this is done. Alright, well I've got this connected up to the Comptar the computer. Got the line in selected and listened to this device on, and uh, oh, it's actually picking up from the microphone as well that I've got connected. But anyway, so anything that comes out of this is going to come through the computer and into that little speaker that I made. So, don't want it on too loud just to so I don't annoy anybody. So let's see what's on this tape. Let's see if it plays. I have cleaned the heads. I think we have a winner. Sounds like someone hitting stuff. Oh god, uh, let's well, do that. Yeah, you see, that's what drums are. They don't sound like drums at all. Yeah, there's one of my funny skits. I really must upload these sometime. Right, well, we know it plays. Let's try to make a recording. Don't know what happened to my voice then, but yeah. 
giving it a little bit of a rub down with some WD-40. It's amazing how much that can bring the shine back. At least one good thing. It's a rainy day for once. Me weather. Weather where I can just do stuff indoors. Not that I have to go out when it's sunny, but... The problem with sunny days is that I just don't feel like doing anything. Right, well, I think it's about time to do a recording test. And I've cleaned the heads, made sure everything is good. And I've got this connected up to the computer, and I've got some music on Modplug Tracker queued up and ready to play. So the output from the computer is going into the tape deck, and the output of the tape deck is going into the computer, which is going to record the outputs. Now that may seem a little stupid, because, you know, if I've got this playing on the computer, the computer's going to record what the computer's playing. Well, actually, it won't. If I start this playing, because I've got multiple input and output devices on this computer, if I go into Audacity, which is already set up to record, we won't get anything. All it's going to hear from is the tape deck. So if I start the tape deck playing, you can now see stuff is coming up. Obviously that's nothing to do with what's going on on Modplug Tracker because I'll just stop that playing. And as you can see, Audacity is still recording only what is on the tape. Right, well, I'd better get this all recording. So, first of all, I'm going to start Audacity recording. Okay, now I'm going to get this ready for recording. I'll put this onto tape first. And I've added a cue sound right here at the beginning of the song, so I know, because this doesn't start very loud, so I'll know exactly where the recording starts. Start the tape going. Start this going. And I'll be able to sync that all up when I do the video. Nice thing about this is, because it's three heads, I can actually monitor from the tape while it's being recorded. Of course, there is going to be a little bit delayed from when the tape gets to the record head to the playhead. But you'll hear what the tape sounds like compared to the original. Okay then. Huh. What the heck's happened here? Dusty's gone all weird. Okay, I have no idea what's happened here with Audacity. I've never done this before. I don't know if my recording's still there. Yeah, my recording still appears to be there. Uh. Still there, 
there, sir. No, I really don't know what's going on there. But anyway, yep. So that was normal position tape, no Dolby. And, uh, well, this video would just get too long if I was to test all possible combinations of tapes and noise reduction, so, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it here. I know that in one of the Westlife's videos he reviewed a tape deck with like this, but it had two tape decks, and he said that they, uh, you know, deteriorate pretty badly, you know, belts and pin trolls and things, but all the belts in this seem to be good, and, uh, the internals seem to be good. Pintrol is still perfectly good. Like I said, the belts are still perfectly good. It's just good. Well, I think I found my new tape deck. If I sound a bit weird, I'm like, pressed right up against the bed. This is as far back as I can get the camera. I'm like, right over the camera's microphone right now. And yeah, this is like, take three, because I had the iris and shutter speed on auto, and because this is black, the camera thought there was a lot less light getting in than there actually is. But yep, I think I found my new main tape deck. And anyway, until next time, goodbye.